In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to divide two numbers mentally in your head. Of course, I'm going to have to write it to show you my thought process, but that's what we're going to do today in this video. So let's start with this example. What is 29 divided by 2? Well, here's a simple technique I like to use. I'm going to break 29 into smaller numbers. 29 is 20 plus 8 plus 1. And each of these numbers, I'm going to divide them by 2. Now, 20 divided by 2 is 10. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 1 divided by 2 is a half, or 0.5. 10 plus 4 is 14. And then if you add 0.5 to that, you're going to get 14.5. So that's the way I like to go about divided numbers in my head. But it helps to know what the decimal values are for some common fractions. So I'm going to give you that real quick. See, so you want to know these values. You may want to commit them to memory. 1 divided by 2 is 0.5. 1 divided by 3 is 0.3 repeating. So that's 0.3333333. 1 divided by 4 is 0.25, it's a quarter. 1 fifth is 0.2, or you could think of it as 0.20. There's 5 20s that make up 100. 1 over 6 is basically half of 1 over 3. So this is going to be 0.16 repeating. Now, 1 over 7, this is approximately 0.143. 1 over 8 is half of 1 over 4. Half of 25 is 12.5, so this is 0.125. 1 over 9 is 0.1 repeating, and 1 over 10 is 0.1. If you know these values, it will make it easier to divide numbers mentally in your head. And we're going to look at a few examples to illustrate this. So let's divide 23 by 3. If someone were to say to you, hey man, what's 23 divided by 3? What answer would you give that person? So in my mind, I would break up 23 into the highest multiple of 3 just under 23 is 21. And I need to get a total of 23, so this leaves a remainder of 2. 21 plus 2 is 23. Now, 21 divided by 3 is 7. 2 over 3, I'm going to write it as 2 times 1 third. Now, we know that 1 over 3 is 0.3 repeating. So if you multiply that by 2, this is going to be 0.6 repeating. Therefore, 23 divided by 3 is 7.6 repeating. So it's 7.666666 and just goes on forever. Let's look at another example. Go ahead and divide 27 by 4. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this example. So I'm going to follow the same process. I'm going to break down 27 into small numbers. So 27 is 20 plus 4 plus 3. I chose these two numbers because they're multiples of 4. Now we know that 20 divided by 4 is 5, 4 divided by 4 is 1. Uh, hopefully you know your multiplication tables up to 12. If you do, this will be easier when you're dividing. Now 3 over 4, I'm going to write it as 3 times 1 over 4. 5 plus 1 is 6, and 1 over 4, or 1 divided by 4, is 0.25, or a quarter. 3 quarters, if you have 3 quarters, that's 75 cents. So 3 times 0.25 is 0.75. And then if you add that to 6, you get 6.75. So that's how you can do some mental math to get the value of 27 divided by 4. Now, for those of you who want access to more related content, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. If you click on this link here, more, you'll get more topics on addition, subtraction, the various forms of multiplication, like long multiplication, 
lattice multiplication, area model multiplication, and then division. You have long division, short division, fractions, decimals, percents, solving word problems. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now, try this one. What is 38 divided by 5? Feel free to take a minute to try that problem. So what are some ways in which we could break down the number 38 using numbers that are multiples of 5? I know that 30 is a multiple of 5, and the same is true for 5. So right now we have 35. To get to 38, we need 3 more. Now, 30 divided by 5 is 6. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 3 over 5, that's 3 times 1 over 5. 6 plus 1 is 7. 1 over 5 is 0. 0.2. And 3 times 0. 0.2 is going to be 0. 0.6. So this is going to give us 7.6. Slightly different from one of our previous answers. Now let's try this one. What is 65 divided by 9? Now for this example, I can't use like 40, 50, or 60 because they're not multiples of 9. If you think about all the multiples of 9, we have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72. In this situation, I want to choose the highest multiple of 9 just under this number. So that's going to be 63. And 65 minus 63 is 2. So I have a remainder of 2. Now, 63 divided by 9 is 7 because it took 7 nines to get to 63, if you count them. And then we have 2 over 9, which is 2 times 1 over 9. Now, 1 over 9, we know it's 0.1 repeating. So 2 times 0.1 repeating is 0.2 repeating. So this becomes 7.2 repeating. So we have an exact answer for this problem without the use of a calculator. Now, what about this one? What is 93 divided by 8? Feel free to try that problem. So 80 is a multiple of 8, and it's relatively close to 90, so I'm going to use that. 93 minus 80 is 13, so I have 13 left over. 8 is a multiple of itself. So right now we're at 88. To get to 93, 93 minus 88 is 5, so we need 5 more. So now these three numbers add up to 93. Once you get to that point, you can start dividing. 80 divided by 8 is 10, 8 divided by 8 is 1, 5 eighths, I'm going to write it as 5 times 1 over 8. 10 plus 1 is 11. Now 1 over 8 we know it's 0.125. So what is 5 times 0.125? Or what is 5 times 125? There's many ways in which you could see this, but let's use money to get the answer. If someone paid you a dollar and 25 cents and they did it five times, how much money would you have? So if you receive a dollar five times, that's five dollars. And if you also receive five quarters, that's a dollar 25. Five bucks plus a dollar 25 means you have six dollars and 25 cents. So five times 125 is 625. Therefore, five times 0 0.125 is 0.625. When you relate math to money, it's usually easier to work out. So this is now 11.625. So that's 93 over 8. And you could confirm that uh, with a calculator. And you know that it's the right answer. Now, let's try some examples with larger numbers. 
What is 300 divided by 4? Another way in which you could see this is let's say this is 300. We want to break this region into four equal parts. If we break it up into a half, this part would be 150. And then if we break that into another half, this is going to be 75. So breaking 300 into four equal parts, we get 75. That's what it means when you're dividing something. You're taking basically, let's say if you have a string and you want to divide it in four, you're cutting it up in four pieces. So if you have a string that's 300 meters and you cut it up in four equal pieces, each new string will be 75 meters long. So that's just a visual way in which you can get the answer, but that method is not always easy with other numbers like 93 over 8. It will be harder to do it that way. 300 over 4. How can we break this up using the method we've been using previously? Now, 4 goes into 100 nicely. 4 quarters make a dollar, so we know that 100 divided by 4 is 25. So I'm going to write this as 3 times 100 divided by 4. 100 divided by 4 is 25. 3 times 25 is 75. That's one way in which you can do that problem. And that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it mentally. Now what about this one? What's 460 divided by 5? For this problem, I'm going to use 100 or multiples of 100. So 400 will be a nice number. And then 50 and 10. 400 plus 50 plus 10 is 460. Now with 400 over 5, because that's a large number, I'm going to do what I did in the previous problem. I'm going to take out a 4. So this is 4 times 100 over 5. Now 50 divided by 5, we know it's 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 100 divided by 5 is 20. And 420s, if you have four $20 bills, you have 80 bucks. 80 and 10 plus 2 is 12. 80 plus 12 is 92. So that's 460 divided by 5. It's 92. Now what about 379 divided by 5? What is that equal to? So let's break this up into 300. I'm going to use 50. So that's 350. And 25. So that's 375. 379 minus 375. I have 4 left over. Now 300. I'm going to write it as 3 times 100 divided by 5. 50 divided by 5 is 10. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 4 fifths, I'm going to write it as 4 times 1 over 5. Now, 100 divided by 5 is 20. 10 plus 5 is 15. And we know that 1 fifth is 0.2, based on what we wrote down early in this video. 3 20s is 60. And 4 times 0.2, 4 times 2 is 8, so 4 times 0.2 is 0 0.8. 60 plus 15 is 75, plus 0.8, that will give us... 75.8. So that's it for this problem. And with all of these, you can confirm your answer with a calculator to make sure you did it right. Let's work on one more example. What is 700 divided by 8? How would you get that answer? Now for this one, I'm going to do it differently. In other problems, I would normally break down 700 into numbers that add up to 700. But instead of using addition, you could also use subtraction. And it might be easier to do that in this case, because 800 is a very nice, easy multiple of 8 to work with. 
So I'm going to write 700 as 800 minus 100. Now 100, I'm going to break it down into numbers, you know, that contain multiples of 8. But because this is negative, the numbers in which I'm going to write, they must also carry a negative sign since they make up this negative 100. So 80 is a multiple of 8. So if I take away 80 from 100, I have 20 left over. 16 is a multiple of 8. If I take away 16 from 20, I have 4 left over. So negative 80 plus negative 16 plus negative 4 adds up to negative 100. And they're all divided by 8. Now, 800 divided by 8. You can clearly see that's going to be 100. 80 divided by 8 is 10. And 16 divided by 8 is 2. 4 over 8. If we divide both numbers by 4, we can reduce the fraction to 1 over 2. Now, 100 minus 10 is 90. And 90 minus 2 is 88. 1 half is 0. 0.5. 88 minus 0. 0.5 is 87.5. So that's 700 divided by 8. So that's a simple technique in which you could use to divide numbers mentally in your head. As you could see, the pattern for the most part is relatively consistent. And that's what I do when I want to divide numbers in my head mentally.